guy's better than here. He's gonna be mad we took his friends. Will you just let me pick you up already? How do we... Okay, so the bolt color... Oh, maybe if we just go back into the... real world, that place will be open now? That seems stupid, but... Maybe. This place. This is where it started. What is this? This is where it started? I'd never felt darkness like that before. That thing had been there. It was where it made its first kill. Where it tasted death. Who? And liked it. Who? Was it really the nurse? Torn illustration. Oh, empty eyes. My poor, poor Mr. Kar Tarkowski. Tarkovsky. What hap whatever happened to you? The test came back, no signs of any brain trauma or dementia. And still, I look into your sad, empty eyes and I have this awful feeling that there's no one looking back. Don't worry, my love. I'll take care of you no matter what. I'll make sure you're happy as can be. 450 milligrams of venlafaxine. That'll cheer you right up. So something's happening to this guy's brain. But nobody knows what it is. Why is he in here with all of this terrible shit, though? This is his wheelchair, isn't it? Hello, my love. It's your favorite nurse. Are you in there? Even a speck of you left? I hope so. Cause I want you to feel everything. The nurse. It got to her first. Why? So it was the nurse? I thought that was just like a red herring. But <laughs> maybe because she was so like full of grief after what happened between her and Tarkovsky that she was an easy target? I don't. I don't understand. Oh my god, the bolt cutters are right there. <laughs> Do I need to come back around? Let me go through this door again. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh yeah, they're right here. Did I miss that? What is this? I did miss this. A quiet girl. Mr. Rekovich is being unreasonable, to put it mildly. I'm a nurse, not a nanny. I understand that he needs someone to keep an eye on her, but I have my hands full as it is. Even putting aside all my other duties, there's sir, still poor Mr. Tark... Excuse me, Mr. Tarkovsky to take care of. Still, I try to do my best. At least the girl's quiet, keeps to herself mostly, likes talking to her imaginary friends, but I figure it's quite normal for someone her age. Sometimes I can hear her playing out full conversations, and I swear it sounds like two people talking. She really is gifted. I guess it runs in the family. Okay, so Tarkovsky was killed by the nurse. Rekovich has a kid who we haven't seen anything from. I thought it was Sadness. Might have been his kid. It's Thomas Rekovich, right? Isn't it Thomas Rekovich? Or is it... Who's Richard? And who's France? I'm fucking confused. I think I need to do a recap of these names. Thomas was the one we were looking for. I thought that was... Rekovich was Thomas. Maybe. Yes! Fucking finally! That's what I'm saying. Time to get back to the day room. Was that what we were doing this whole time? Trying to get to the day room? <laughs> get the bolt cutters. Okay, let's go through here. And hope I don't have to go back through all of that shit again, because I don't want to walk all the way back. I just want to continue going forward. 
the whole walking back thing is driving me crazy and I hate it. What's over here? Okay, cool. I don't have to do a whole walking back thing. Ah, oh, bolt cutters. Let's do this. Um. I. What? What just happened? Oh, I have to do both. Thanks. So worth it. I love you, bolt cutters. Okay. Okay. To take a breath every time I go into a fucking room because I think that guy's gonna be here. That monster thing. Can't go there, so I can only go down. Why were we going to the day room to- was that to find someone named Richard? I think we're looking for Richard, right? Not Thomas. We already found Thomas. Looked like Thomas had become that thing. Okay. There's this way. Anything back here? No. Okay, let's do this. More of our favorite bolt cutters. Kinda sounds like a spy name. Cutters. Bolt cutters. <laughs> sure, let's go with that. Or a movie star. Like, in a movie you don't use your real name for. Yeah. Like erotic movie. Spy name it is. Okay. Is there anything down here? Before we loop back around. I'd watch it. <laughs> if it starred somebody named Bolt Cutters. <laughs> oh my god. Good old Bolt Cutters. My favorite. My favorite actor. Who do you think would win in a fight? Bolt Cutters or Lexington Steel? Oh, this is locked. Bolt Cutters versus Steel? Come on. Okay, so we definitely need a key. But, really quick, I just want to see anything else on this side of the wall. There's a lot of like little shits I think you can miss in this game. Like, um, oh and there's a mirror there too, we need to remember that. There's a lot of stuff that you could miss in this game I think, like clues as to what really happened. Knew that one by name- well, I mean, isn't he like one of the most famous porn stars? I feel e like even people that don't watch porn would know who that guy was. He was it wasn't he in um what he was in like a normal movie. What movie was that? He played himself in a movie. He like made a cameo appearance, but I can't remember what movie it was. Somebody look it up. <laughs> Cause now I wanna know. I wanted to say it was Zack and Mary make a porno, but it wasn't. 
But it was a movie like that. It was like a comedy. A comedy movie. Okay, Marianne. Let's see what Sadness wanted me to see. Maybe it was like she's a all right. Seth Rogen movie? I don't know. Maybe not. It was a movie where I think the scene was some guy thought it would be cool to like work on a porn movie because he'd see all like the naked chicks. Read. Family time, holidays in the country. So he volunteered to, like, make the food or something? And Lexington Steel was on the set. But the food gave them all, like, massive diarrhea or something. So Lexington Steel didn't want to be this guy's friend anymore. Do you know what movie I'm talking about? I feel like it's on the tip of my tongue. Oh, bullet cutters again. What a fucking surprise. I'm lost, by the way. All right. Here we go. Um, did something just close behind me? got me. What the hell is it? Uh, it came from shame. From helplessness. From rage. Rage? It's like anger. But more. Once it got out, we couldn't stop it. It ate all of them, Marianne. All of my friends. Your friends? I'm the only one left. It's, it's okay, Sadness. I'm here now. No, no. It, it'll eat you too. It, just like the others. I won't let it hurt you, I promise. Okay. Hey, is that what happened to her arm? Why don't you tell me something about this place? It, it's the day room. To play here. <laughs> With Richard? Is he one of your friends? Uh, no. But he was smart. Maybe he could help you. He was smart. Wait, is he? Uh, a bad thing happened to him. I remember he, he became hollow, like a puppet. He... Oh, I remember. Marianne, I don't want to see him. What? Why not? What, what do you remember? No, don't tell them. Well, it, it's don't okay. tell anyone. You don't have to tell me. But you should still come with me so that I can keep you safe. No, no, Marianne. The sadness. No, never again. Why did you... It was then I realized there was something she wanted me to see with my own eyes. You're just realizing that now? Hello? Didn't she say, there's something I want you to see in the day room? <laughs> I feel like that's a possible conversation we may have had at some point, but... scared to know what is behind this fucking thing. So she says Richard became a puppet. He became hollow. Hmm. Okay, well, 
there's moths in here, which is not great. Richard? Are you there? If you guys see me miss anything, let me know because I have to keep track on like two different screens. I spent a few years trying to steer him in the right direction, trying to make him see the depth of his potential. He kept refusing, claiming that he was no painter and that he saw our little get-togethers as therapy, rather than artistic expression. Eventually I wore him down. He agreed to enter the university, but on the condition that it would be his chosen field, and so he started on his way to becoming an architect. At first I was rather skeptical, thinking that he was throwing away greatness from mere competence, but deep inside I guess I was glad to be the only one to bring his visions to life. And then he met her. Our painting sessions became few and far between. He no longer needed my help in dealing with his inner demons. Was this therapist? Or like a friend? Throwing away greatness. Gather round, children. I want you to meet Lilian. She's going to be joining our painting class. Uh, why can't I play with my friends, Uncle Richard? Your friends? Oh, Lilian, I, I promised your father you would spend some time with the other children. Friends? Is Lilian sadness because her voice sounds? similar. So was Richard the art class teacher? I think I have to have an out-of-body experience, right? No, actually, no, that won't work. It's blocked off in this world. It's interesting. What is this? A very special boy. I remember the first time I met him working a simple factory job, still more of a boy than a man. Wide-eyed, constantly looking over his shoulder like a scared animal, his parents had died in the Warsaw Uprising. Of what he had gone through in the years that followed, he did not want to speak and I never pressed him, but it soon became clear he had no one else in the world. I could immediately tell that despite his young age, he had seen things that no one his age should. I would have... I could immediately tell he was special. I can't tell if these are about Richard? Or if Richard's writing them about... someone else. What is this? Oh, this place is packed with memories. No kidding, bad ones. Guilt. Humiliation. Rage. What is this here? In Method to Madness, it became a habit of ours. We'd sit down, sketchbook at the ready, and then he'd close his eyes and start talking, describing all the things he saw in his mind's eye, the horror and splendor of worlds beyond our own. What started out as innocent exercise in imagination ultimately became a bottomless well of inspiration. My hand wouldn't dare rest, sketching furiously as he described the indescribable. For a while, I wondered why he was so eager to share his visions with me. To him, they seemed to be a burden, a source of great pain and distress, but finally I understood. He sought to share them with someone who saw them as a source of beauty rather than madness. What? I'm confused. I, I would have thought these were about Richard, but I... I guess I'm just a little bit confused as to who's writing and who's talking. What's on the spirit of that globe? There's a sense of loneliness coming from it. It feels incomplete. So we're missing something. Find. He was hollow because he became a skin suit. <laughs> While 
Well, you're probably not wrong. Why is this all weird? He became a shell of a man. Some would say a skin suit of a man. A sheet of music. Well, at least part of it. Mazurka. Okay, so I'm guessing we need to find other ones of these. of inspiration. Thomas, I've always been stunned by the depth and complexity of his imagination. Okay. Mesmeri mesmerized by the surreal dreamscapes of his mind could weave. The way he described them with every minute detail, it was as if he had actually witnessed all of it, as if something or someone had pulled the veil and allowed him to peek beyond the edges of our reality. An angel, a demon, is there really a difference? I know it didn't matter to me as his visions came alive on my canvas. Some would say I used the boy to fuel my waning creativity, but how could I not to let his unique perspective, this bottomless well of inspiration, go to waste? That would be an unforgivable sin. So this is... Tom okay. So maybe this is Richard writing about Thomas? But it sounds like Thomas is young when this is happening. But the Thomas that we know is an adult, right? Oh, here's another piece. think he would be better off in a nursing home? What about his family? Richard doesn't have any family. Oh, the poor man. It's like he's somewhere else. We were close once, you know. I mean, not that close, but... All right. I'll take care of him. Hollow like a puppet. Isn't that what Sadness said? Hmm. Thomas? You think Thomas is also a medium? I mean, there's like allusions to angels and demons and stuff and visions, so I guess maybe he could be another medium? So Thomas could be another medium. I miss, is this Thomas talking to Ursula about Richard? through that other. I don't know why my character is suddenly walking like really slow. Did I hit something that makes her like creep slowly? Hold on.